And also, Ibadu Rahim engages in lectures, seminars like this one, training. We have our youngsters here, uh, Sheikh Yaya, who, who has been wonderful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to give him the barakah, inshallah, his family. So, Ibadu Rahim is just an organization, an Islamic organization that is formed to help mold and redirect all our youth and remind the, uh, the, 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 the older ones of the way of our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think this is the, if I'm not too wrong, uh, this is about the second lecture we're going to have this year, inshallah, and we're going to have more. So uh, basically, Badran is an Islamic organization that is for to help enrich us spiritually in the, in the Islamic way. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to guide every one of us. I say, Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, the time now is um, 20 past 1. Um, I should be calling Brian Yahya to give us a talk, but I don't want him to stop midway. So, um, I think we will break for Zohar, but before we break, I just want to remind us, um, I believe it was sometime last year, I came to, I came here uh, to Halo, and um, I gave a little talk, and coincidentally, I, I made the little group at the time memorize a verse in the Quran, and it is that verse that is probably the, that is the subject of today's discussion. Now, who can remember from here what, surah, what verse we memorized on that day? Anyone? Can you remember? Have you forgotten? Maybe if I start it, somebody will remember. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna al-ladhina qalu rabbuna Allah thumma sta'amu. Okay, can anyone take it on from there? Yeah? Alhamdulillah. Anyway. Alhamdulillah, we went through that verse at the time I think we went through it for just about thirty minutes. In the Ladino Kalu Rabuna Allah Tumasta Kol Tatanazalu Alehi Madehi Kawala Allah Tahaf Wala Tahazan of Shirdu Jannah. Today we are going to spend at least two, three hours looking into that verse in details from different perspectives. And that is why we are here. Allah has told us in the Quran that there is no one that is better in what they say, in what they do, better than the one who says they are Muslims or that Allah is our Lord and they stand firm on that. There's an hadith by Sufyan ibn Abdullah. He went to meet the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, tell me something about Islam that I don't need to ask anyone else. Just tell me one thing about Islam I don't need to ask anyone else. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, that you, he said, say, I believe in Allah and then be steadfast. The Prophet told Sufyan ibn Abdullah, that if you don't want to, if that is the only thing you have to learn about Islam, it is to say, I believe in Allah, and then to remain steadfast. This has huge implications. He didn't say, and say, I remain steadfast. Because steadfastness is not a speech, it's an action. Say, I believe in Allah is a speech that you need to translate into an action. 
But the moment you say, I believe in Allah, you have an identity. The moment you say, I believe in Allah, you have a code of conduct. The moment you say, I believe in Allah, you have put yourself under the spotlight. And that spotlight can be very hot. That hot seat can be very hot. It is not easy for you as a Muslim sister to say you wear hijab. It's not easy for you to say you are a Muslim man to stop whatever you are doing, to pray your salat, even when you are in a very tight situation. It's not easy to live the life of a Muslim. And that is why through Mustaqom, that you are going to be steadfast, that is where it comes to play. Because the moment you say, I am a Muslim, I believe in Allah, all sorts of challenges come your way. And then, whether you are steadfast or not, that becomes the main issue. How weak are you? How strong are you? How firm are you? How shaky is your faith? And that's what we want to learn today. Our scholars will be taking us through this topic of how we are going to face our challenges with steadfastness. Through Master Tom, then we are steadfast in the face of everything we are doing. And please, 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 if you have notes, take the notes. And more than that, draw an action plan from the notes you take today. How am I going to put the speeches we are going to hear today, the talk we are going to hear, how am I going to put it into action in my life? Because that is what is more important. You are not here by accident. You are here because Allah wants you to benefit. And on the day of judgment, Allah is going to ask you, that talk you went to, what did you take out of it? How did it impact on your life? May Allah make our task easy for us today. Wa kulu kode aza wa staqshullah. Al warak. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Let us break now for Salatul Zuhur. Inshallah, we should be here roughly by quarter to two. Inshallah, and then we'll go straight into, into the talks. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.